Hi guys, welcome back. It's Honest Airsoft here. Now, at the time of making this video, we've just gone past 100 subs. Uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. There will be a 100 sub special um, involving the G19, but that's a secret. It's going to be a fun video to make and or shoot. This video is my well, review of this gun. Obviously, you know I've had it for a while. I unboxed it last month from Extreme Airsoft, the $100, £100, sorry. Uh, mystery unboxing. Um, I've used it a couple times in the field. Got some opinions on it. Gonna compare it to the G19. That is my first, you know, my young love. And we'll um, we'll see how this goes. Everyone that didn't watch my um, mystery unboxing, I will unbox it again for you, just so you see it and see what comes in the box. Not a lot comes in this box. Um, it's quite a minimalistic box, nothing really on it. Nothing on the back. Like a QR code on the side. Information, a little bit of English at the bottom, but the rest of Chinese. And that's around about it. So let's show you what it comes in. Oh, what is it? We do get this F series manual. Now, this manual is just right, tell you about the gun. I think it has a breakdown. Yet again, I'm doing this with gloves on, I don't know why. Brilliant. This is very fun to open. There we go. Yeah, just tells you things about the gun, how to load the mag properly, how to load the BBs, and then I take down the gun and take it apart. Actually, it does have a bit by bit thingy. Tells you how to take apart the mag, which is quite cool. I haven't actually looked at this yet, so <laughs> that's both of us. Tells you how to take apart the the barrel and the outer barrel and also the spring which is quite cool and a recoil unit which is nice that's just really cool so yeah props to WeTech. didn't think they do that but yeah that's really tactical you get one mag and uh obviously the gun let's talk about these mags first now this is it's um double stack weird double really weird how they stack these not like that one where it's all together, it's just like really far apart. When I first got these, the valves were all loose. So the valve at the back and the valve at the bottom, the filler valve and then the exit valve. Every time I put um, green gas in it, leaking like constant. It actually leaked, if you guys can see that, from here. See where that line is? Yeah, it leaked a lot from there, like a lot. So I had to uh, get a cross head, tighten it up, Get a valve key, tighten the valves up. Even after I did that, it was still leaking. So I emptied it all completely, no gas in it at all. Put a little bit of gas in it, um, like the teeniest bit. Left it a couple hours, put more gas in, you know, left it a bit. Then the same, then the same, then the same. Then emptied it all, and I filled it up so I can't fill it up anymore. And it started to work. So the mag doesn't leak anymore, not at all. I have gas in there now, just to make sure the uh, the seals are all good and uh, so it doesn't wear away in the crow, like so that. But yeah, that's a good mag, I guess. Um, it, it worried me about this mag actually, I was going to buy another one until I, you know, mucked around with it, tried fixing it myself. Wasn't really prepared to buy another mag as soon as I got the gun. Which was really annoying, but it was fine, it's fine now. That there. Now, that's it. Box is completely empty. Pretty, very simple packaging. Not much comes out. Very simple. Let's fuck that off then. Now, this is the F226. This is the back side actually. It is quite greasy. I have cleaned it a little bit recently. I haven't shut it. It's, um, it's very nice. It's very heavy compared to my Glock 19, very heavy. And it shoots heavy too, it's really nice. It shoots really good. Um, oh, it's, hard, it's hard to talk about to gun, it just shoots heavy. Like, let me show you guys. It's, uh, there is snake in here. You guys can see that. There's snake in the barrel whatsoever. Nothing at all. Now, I'm gonna shoot a couple bullets. It's, it's it's very heavy compared to 
this gun. Very heavy. I really like it. It doesn't shoot the best. Like I've had, I've had the G19 is my favourite still. Unfortunately, this doesn't take it over. I have used it in the field, like I said. Um, but there are positive things to this gun that I do like. For example, the trigger. The trigger is so light. It's amazing. Like, ah, look at it. No mag. So it's actually um, cocked back. So, literally, that's it. And now it's not cocked back. It is harder. But let's be honest, you need to put the mag in and you leave the safe zone. You rack it back anyway. And every time you shoot it, obviously it goes back to this. So it's still pretty cool. Still shoots like crazy. It's very quick um, compared to the Glock. The trigger's not as clunky as a Glock. Shoot this. It just has that massive twang. Okay. Right. Maybe it's my ears. Also, there is a few things about that Glock over its age that's kind of annoying me like this. It's stuck. Like. And it hasn't, you know, completely locked back after the last bullet. But that's just probably going to get a new spring, maybe. I don't know. Clean up a bit more. Who knows? There's nothing about this gun, actually. Going back to the mag. Now, like I said I like the mag. I really like the mag. But. I don't know if it's the mag or the gun or both, but it doesn't always feed right. So I could be shooting, bang, 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 bang. Getting through it, and out of nowhere, it just goes. And it knocks back. Out of nowhere. And I'll drop the mag, look at it, and be like, oh. Got loads of bullets left, or BBs. What's going on? So then I've got to re rack it. Half the time there's a little bit of BB in the chamber, so I've got to re rack it. It hasn't happened to me in the field, but I do muck around with these guns a lot. You know, just to make sure they're all working well, make sure they're clean. Bit of fun, you know, make sure I'm still up to date on myself. I shoot quite a lot, and it's normally when I shoot them out in the garden or mate's house or whatever that it jams. Hasn't happened in a field that I know of, <laughs> unless I died. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that really annoys me, is the jamming. Now, I never had that on my Glock. Um, if anyone else had the same issue, let me know. I don't know why it does it. But, hmm, doesn't matter. I'm right, going to change the angle again, I put it down here. I'm going to show you guys how to take it apart and put it back together. All right, guys, now to take it apart, all you need to do, see this lever right here, push it forward, it'll release that little little catch in there, put it back, put that back in the middle, comes off like that. Easy. Yeah, I don't know if I could, I, I think I prefer the Glock's take down, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? To get this spring out, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, because there is, um, it does connect, if you guys can see that. Connects at a point here on the barrel. No, not on the barrel, on the um, hop up unit. So I've got to wiggle it about. I've got to pull it all the way out, bring the barrel down, take the barrel out, or the inner barrel out. Oh, so you can't see this. Take the inner barrel out as such. And now I've got the spring stuck, which is quite cool. Amazing. Pull the spring out, and then there goes the barrel too. <laughs> Pretty simple. I'm not going to take the recoil unit out because I haven't got any tools on me to do so. Um, yeah, but really simple takedown. Really simple. Yeah. Don't know why I did that for, but yeah. Really simple takedown. Um, it is a really nice gun. I'm going to have to get more mags for it. I haven't yet got a holster for it, so I was just jaw weeding these. Um, that's uh, fine. Realism. I like the F three two six because it's just feels way more realistic, way more heavier, um, more like I'm holding a gun. I don't like how high the rail sits on the gun because obviously if you can see here, this is really low, whereas this is just really high. And I've been using the Glock for a while, so it's natural to me. But compared to the F three two six, it's not natural. I feel like my aim is off because of it, but practice makes perfect, I guess. Um, but yeah, I do like this gun. 
wouldn't recommend it as a first buy, if I'm honest. Maybe a more experienced player could get it, not, not a beginner. Um, but yeah. Anyway, this is a uh, next video. It's going to be us using the G19. Going to put it through its paces. Um, that'll be the special. Uh, that's all I'm going to tell you. It's going to be a really long video. Um, if you want to see this gun in anything or on anything or under anything, leave it in the comments and I'll uh, give it a read. I think it's worth doing. I'll put it in there. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for the 100 subs. Let's keep going. Let's get all the way up to 200. That'd be amazing. And yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and, and share with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video.